Welcome to Markitecture, where you can get smart fast with in-depth interviews of leading technology vendors. I'm Mike Shields, and I'm here with Adam Helfgott. He's the CEO of Madhive. Hey, Adam, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Super excited. So am I. You guys are an interesting company, and I wanted to get right into it if we can. So let's just start from the top with the basic, what does your company do question? Sure. In ad tech terms, we're a demand side platform that works with broadcast groups, brands, agencies. We're really hyper-focused on local. We have a you know, high fidelity bidder. It was built in the past couple of years to really focus on the scarcity of television. So we're really built around the TV ad stack and acquiring television as humans move over from linear systems into uh, connected television. There are lots of DSPs out there. Not many focus on local or the local television marketplace, but what's your origin story? Is it, what opportunity did you see when you were launching? Yeah. So, you know, I'm an early adopter, founder, and it just seemed inevitable one day that all television will be delivered over IP. You know, that just seemed normal, right? That's just like an inevitability. And, uh, you know, and I was helping out a friend. I had another startup in the past that I sold and I was helping out a friend. He was building an OTT station. And when I was picking out vendors for ad tech and things like that, I was really kind of like horrified at the landscape of like SaaS software on the production side for OTT, as well as the monetization side. And it was really early. This is like 2014, early 15. And, you know, I just figured that, hey, if like television is a huge industry, it's very old industry in media. And it seems like the technology side and the startup side isn't really geared up to handle that load coming in. And I saw that as a really big opportunity. But it's ad tech, right? And ad tech is traditionally pretty gated. It's hard to get in there. Um, right. In 2015, the, the, there wasn't a lot of connected TV to buy and sell, right? So you're talking about that, that, that's correct. linear television primarily and addressable, I guess. Right. And so, you know, initially it was every brand is going to be a media channel and let's develop tools and things like that for them. Like, how do we do interactive ads? All the stuff that we've seen over the years. And as I kind of got into it and started meeting people, I saw that there was a really big opportunity with the broadcast groups in the United States. So like Fox and Tegna and companies like that, that's had these big sales teams and basically their markets were dwindling because people were moving over to CTV. So they needed to sell a reach extension product. And so we tuned Madhive early on to basically be a reach extension DSP for local sellers. So where so linear I'm, I'm television- So I don't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. You, you. I hear DSP, I think buy side. It sounds like you were building this for the stations themselves though to, yeah. to help, help so, their clients buy. Like why not build a supply side product, I guess? Well, local linear television, like channel five local news- isn't a great OTT station at scale, right? And yeah. so while the sellers at a broadcast group are selling their own O and O, when they're selling CTV, they're selling supply in general. So Madhype does have a full stack platform. We do have like okay. an SSP light and we do connect directly into inventory and we don't rely hundred percent on the SSP industry, but we are definitely a tool made for people acquiring inventory to put on campaigns that were sold. Okay. So like the local sales guy who's selling Channel 5 news to the car dealerships or, or the exactly. big advertisers, they don't have a lot of CTV inventory, especially back in 2015. So you're helping them piece together other packages to extend that or? Exactly. Like I was like really early in the Pluto offices when they used to be in Venice Beach and, you know, doing deals with them and whatnot. How do we get good data? How do we, how do we make connected television look like television, not look like display media or uh, on a phone on the reporting side? How do we keep it looking like television? Thanks for listening. To hear the complete interview, subscribe at architecture.tv.